Welcome back to Think Bike Wizards. Today we're going to talk about Disneyland and do a little Disneyland construction update. It's going to be a quick Disneyland construction update because you know, not much is happening. But there's a decent amount of stuff starting with Downtown Disney. This is the first time I saw that new Downtown Disney area, the lawn and stage open in person, which is nice. And there's the Parkside Market under construction with Din Tai Fung right there on the other side. The rest of the Downtown Disney expansion will open in, or the West Side expansion will open later this year. By Thanksgiving. They're even working on replacing the pavement over there, which will be quite nice as well. Here's just a shot of the Din Tai Fung area. This looks fantastic. I haven't personally ate there, but I know um, it's very, very popular. There's multiple locations all over Southern California, and this will surely be quite a busy location. Also, I love that it has um, a little bit of a theme to it. It has some, you know, some Asian architecture, which is nice because uh, the Ralph, Ralph Brennan's Jazz Kitchen got totally de-themed, so I'm excited that this uh, has a little bit of Asian flair to go with its Asian restaurant, which is quite nice. Let me just warn you, this was shot, though, a little bit before the holidays, a little bit before Christmas, um, the weekend before Christmas, so it's, obviously it's January 9th by the time this comes, or January 8th by the time this is coming out, so it's a couple weeks old, but most of this stuff looks about the same, but there's some been a little bit of progress on all these projects, but this is just the general idea of what it looks like right now. All of these things, by the way, are opening in 2024, later on this year. Hmm. Let's head over to Paseo and Century Cent right now, see how those projects are wrapping up. Again, this is this will also open later on in this year, probably, hopefully by the summertime. Century Co. looks just about, oh, not uh, just about done, but uh, pretty good. I like the new wooden slats they have. That looks much better, I think, than the Uber bar used to look like. And... This will be uh, right in the center, and I can't wait till these walls are down. Here's a little piece of concept art. Look at that. It actually looks very, very, be very beautiful, and Paseo looks fantastic as well. Here's just another shot of Paseo um, from a little bit farther away. But, yeah, this uh, will be nice to have this, the walls completely gone when, um, this, um, when this opens up. It will alleviate congestion and provide a very nice bar. And restaurant. It's be a Michelin, a five star Michelin chef here for Paseo. And then Tortilla Joe's is supposed to close in March, rumor has it, for a new concept there. So, yeah, downtown Disney is continuing to transform. But now, let's go inside to the park for the last major construction update we have. That's for Splash Mountain. Checking in on Tiana's Bayou Adventure from Tom Sawyer's Island. Um, not much to see here. You can see a little bit of the drop and the scaffolding, and this is the turnaround. The turnaround has not much going on. It's just uh, covered up for protection. But we're going to kind of focus in and zero in on the drop right here and try to zoom in. So let's try to get a peek through the trees and into the drop where all the scaffolding is. <laughs> right now, this is they actually finished the top of the mountain. They um, so There's still scaffolding on there, but they kind of sculpted it to more look like a hill. Fortunately, uh, yeah, they took away that iconic tree stump, but... That's okay, because it turns out they're enclosing the first drop, which is actually pretty cool. Yeah, um, they're really working on this. The water tower and all the moss should come soon, and this should be opening again in late 2024. Over at the entrance of the previous barn light structure, it's under complete scaffolding. In Disney World, they have, uh, at the Magic Kingdom version, they have, um, they painted this a yellow paint color, something similar um, at their entrance. So I wonder if that's what we'll get over here. Right now it's under complete scaffolding, so I can't wait to see what the re reveal of that may be. Looking at the side of the mountain where the queue is, of this from uh, kind of where Winnie the Pooh area, just a lot of scaffolding. This is where they're uh, focusing on enclosing that first drop. This is previously slip and falls where it be. You'll be dropping into a nice indoor show scene there instead of being outdoors, which is quite nice because the versions in Tokyo and um, uh, Magic Kingdom. I already like that, which is good. right there. That steel in between those tree barks or tree trunks is where they're enclosed. That slip and falls, and that is where they're enclosing that drop, which is cool. Uh, pr pretty awesome. And here's some scaffolding around one of the mountain pieces here. They're probably doing some reshaping, and a lot of this will be covered with floral eventually. So I'm curious to see if they're gonna reshape this, demolish this, or just uh, kind of just repaint it a little bit. And here's a shot from the iconic bridge area where you're looking over at the drop. And yeah, they're just scaffolding or they're, they're trimming down that hill. Or mountains make it a hill and kind of put it together and making it look 
quite nice. This is where Mama Oda you will be uh, before you drop down. Here's a shot from the side. We can see slightly more uh, of the mountain here or the salt mine. And here's the second hill. We can see the some dry ball has gone on that barn like structure. Not sure how much that's going to change or what they, can, they may add or, or change there. But yeah, it looks like something's changing because there are some dry walls and that blue dry ball right there are ready to go. Here's a much closer look at the hill and you can see how they have, you know, sealed it up and flattened it out, making it less imposing than it was before. And yeah, it's a it's a real good shot. I mean, this is again, Mama Odie and there's a drop right there. That's where Mama Odie will be and all those color, colorful lights we saw on the model at D23 shoot is gone remember in the last update they had a big like kind of slide trash shoot for slide all the trash down looks like they don't need that anymore meaning the demo phase is over and they're certainly constructing new things the uh top of the hill is used gray so they gotta paint that to make the match the current mountain color scheme and then we're gonna add a whole bunch of foliage on there looks like there's a big wire and work light there to help them work at nighttime and that is it. That is it for a quick Disneyland update. Not too much happening. We actually only went to Disneyland to that trip. No California Adventure, but in California Adventure, not too much is happening as, as well. They'd have um, the DVC, uh, Blue Sky Cellars being transformed to DVC area, so there's some work walls around that, but that not too much is happening. Then they have some st refurbishments starting today that uh, aren't really no big deal. But yeah, what do you guys think of this quick Dis Disneyland update? Do you like these Disneyland updates? Should I go to Disneyland more often? Um, let me know in the comments below. And I'll be at Knott's now that uh, Camp Snoopy is officially um, under its full renovation. I'll be there because it's going to open up in Memorial Day. So I'll be covering that for the next few months. If you like these videos, please subscribe and press that like button. Also, if you want to support the channel, I have my Patreon link down below. It's Club722. And also, I have a Discord. My Discord is now open to everyone, so you can come in there and chat about Disney, Universal, and all that good stuff. The link is down below. Please go ahead and check that out. We already have 19 or 17 members, so I'll try to get that up to 100. All right. If you guys uh, have a great day, guys. Have a great, magical day. <laughs> Do you guys want discount tickets to theme parks, Disney, Universal, Legoland, SeaWorld, all of them? Well, guess what? I can get you that. Thanks to the folks that get away today. We have a referral code down below in the link. You can click and get discounts and for all your vacation packages. Also, you can get tickets or discount tickets for single day tickets as well. You just click on the code, click whatever theme park you want to go to in California or Florida, and then type uh use the code tpw that is capital t p and w that's it disney universal all of them and they if you add multiple days the bigger the discount again use that referral link down below uh you'll get lots of discounts including single day vacation packages even on hotels and use that code tpw and thank you to the folks that get away today for helping us out here and helping you get some more discounts all right let's get right back to the video